guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video if you're coming over from my previous video my vlog where i went into primark and showed you all of the new in bits i did promise you guys a chunky haul so that is what i'm bringing you today i will say in terms of the clothes i did get a few bits which i will try on and style up and everything um but I do think the clothing, they're still in that transitional stage, but home wear, they seem to have quite a bit of pumpkins out and ghouls and ghosts, and you will have seen all of that in the in-store footage in my previous video. But if you want to see everything that I did pick up, then make sure to grab a cozy drink, get comfy, and let's jump into it. Okay, I will start today with the kind of home wear section with us having lots of autumn goodies that i was shopping and i'm going to start with my favorite little pumpkin and it's this guy how cute is he this is um four pounds this one was and it's got the jute string and it's just a simple kind of check plaid it's actually more of like a hound's tooth print in these nice warm tones i'm so excited to be decorating for autumn this year um but yeah how cute is my little plush pumpkin they had some bigger ones with like the velvet some which i remember from last year as well some like borg teddy fabric ones didn't go overboard because i have got quite a lot of autumn decoration already down in storage in the basement but uh this guy i don't have any like him so picked him up for just four pounds also bought myself a candle i love burning candles all year round but especially throughout autumn and winter so i do get through them burn them every single day this one's really nice actually for for a pumpkin spice smell which i'm sure most of you will agree can be potent let's say some pumpkin spice smells are just like pff, too much this one is quite muted quite it's still pumpkin spice smelling, but it doesn't seem overbearing. And it's probably because it's Primark and it's probably not got many essential oils in. But because of that, it will be, I think, a really nice one to burn. And how cute is the packaging with the design with all the di different leaves and acorns. And then the lid has a cute little gold pumpkin on top. Oh, I have to show you this. It's my favourite purchase. I know I said this one was, but I really love this. So I have a extensive mug collection <laughs> for autumn and i do get through them you know i do like to treat myself to a nice cozy drink throughout autumn and winter so i have quite a lot of autumn and christmas mugs but i'm gonna have a cull i'm going to have a big clear out and keep all of my absolute favorites mostly probably neutral ones of which this one fits that theme and i just love how it's kind of Rather than just a plain white, it's like a speckled kind of pumpkin mug with the leaf design on the handle as well. I just think it's so, so pretty. And for £3.50, it's giving anthropology without the anthropology price tag. £3.50 versus, I think theirs are usually about £16. And I'm not knocking them. I do like them. But when you can get the look for less, why wouldn't you? Anyway, speaking of mugs, I do have a couple of Halloween ones. I'm going to have mostly autumn, but Halloween ones I might keep one or two of. And this guy is so cute. So again, nice little hot chocolates and squirty cream in this for Halloween. I like to bring my Halloween decorations out towards Halloween. So more so October time, um, so the last couple of weeks of October. I will start using this but they had some plates as well that match this with little ghosts on and it said boo this was three pound fifty as well and again neutral That's all. oh cheers have i just cracked it no we're good they're pretty sturdy <laughs> would have been devastated had i just smashed it i picked up these five pack of microfiber cloths at just one pound fifty again why does that please me? It's just the little things. This in a cleaning cupboard as opposed to the bright greens. Minky, bring out a glass cleaning cloth that isn't bright green, please. Thank you very much. I also picked up these placemats. I thought they were lovely. They are, well, they're a bit creased now that I've had them folded in the bag. But once they sit out for a bit, I think they'll be fine. But they're like a cream with a like sage green stripe on. But I like them because they're wipeable. So really, really handy for um, for when you're hosting to have these out, maybe outside, well, wherever. But I'm thinking outdoor dining with these ones especially because I keep taking out my seagrass ones from the White Company 
and they're just not the best for in terms of a placemat because if anything spills on them they're not exactly you can't clean them very easily so they are nice but i think yeah for more hearty dinners where it might get messy a wipeable one is far better so they come in a pack of four so i picked up two i think eight will be enough total because that's all our table place allows for both our outdoor dining and indoor dining it seats eight so yeah three pound fifty each for those and uh, what else do we have we have another pumpkin item this cute little ramekin soup bowl however you want to use it i thought you could get two of these and have little matching desserts like little mini apple crumbles in here would be lovely um i just got the one for now we do have some ceramics in pumpkin so i just need to get everything out and see exactly what i have but even as a little one-off you could just obviously use this as um decor you don't have to use it in the kitchen or just on a kitchen shelf or something rather than it being used um but it is a ceramic oven dish it was six pounds oh here we go max 200 degrees and you can use it in a microwave too um yeah how cute is this and then also for six pounds they have a teapot matching teapot so it's only a small little teapot so i feel like for a individual um if you just want to have a couple of tea bags brewing for just like for one like even just for me or for two for like breakfast but even if i just wanted to have sometimes if i have a tea like a peppermint tea or herbal tea or whatever i fill up the mug a couple of times so i keep the tea bag in it whereas this obviously i can just have a couple of tea bags in here and have a much bigger bigger tea because i like my tea to last a longer time a longer time wow great english there um yeah six pounds i thought was an absolute bargain for that i think that is it for the home way. yeah so that is everything that i've got i might head over to the city center one and see if they've got any more bits but to be honest with you the couple of things that i had seen online which i wanted to get my hands on these two included and the teapot and ramkin i found them anyway so unless they bring out any more bits then I feel like the traffic centre had great stock in, so that's good. Um, but anyway, moving over to clothing, accessories, we'll start with this little cap. I just thought that was a very simple, cute little cap. I've not got it on properly because I've got the cardboard on the inside still, but just says New York, and we still want to book in a trip to New York. Tom and I talk about going all the time, so four pound. Who knows, will this year be the year? Probably not. I've already done a few trips this year, which for me, is quite a lot. So maybe next year, maybe we can go to America together. We've never been to America together and I keep saying I'd love to do like a road trip, but then New York is a separate trip as well. Um, but anyway, I also headed to the pyjama section. I've had a bit of a pyjama clear out recently and um, yeah, so treat myself to a new set for the end of summer months. Wow, do you ever see me hold such colourful items here on YouTube. No, this is like a shock, isn't it? Bright pink. But I just thought this was cute. And yeah, for those end of summer days, I love sleeping in shorts and a vest like this. This is like my ideal um, PJs to sleep in. Although I would be tempted, I think, maybe to get some of the piped sets, the longer ones, because as it gets cooler, they are super soft and super comfy. They're like white company dupes. But anyway, this little set, super, super pretty, was uh, 10 pounds and I size up to a medium. I always size up in the pajamas. The only thing is it makes the shorts quite big for me, but the straps are adjustable on the top and it's only a little top anyway. So medium, size up in the PJs if you want extra comfort. Now, speaking of comfort, this top, I actually got two of these because they were so, so soft. Um, I got one in a small and I got one in a medium because I thought the small, although the small, I wouldn't ordinarily get a small, I thought the small looked quite big. I suppose small in Primark is a 10 to 12 and I'm that is me, a 10 to 12, but for some reason, everywhere else at Zara and things, because I shop a medium, the thought of getting a small just felt like, I don't know, like it wouldn't fit me, but yeah, looking at it now, maybe it will. But anyway, this is so incredibly soft. I urge you to go in and feel it because it just doesn't, 
I just thought you should touch it through the screen, okay? And feel how soft this is. It's also got a inner liner, which again is super, super soft. The one on the inside isn't ripped though. As you can tell it's got like an extra support band there. You could wear this as a little crop top. I'm thinking just like on an everyday wear rather than like a wired bra or anything, just something like this for comfort and even for sleeping in. So yeah, that's why I did get a slightly larger one in a medium as well. And these, 350. Oh no, they were reduced in the sale to 250. Tell a lie. I also did pick up three, yes, three of these sets because they are, again, I size up to a medium. They do, they can shrink a little bit in the wash, so that's why I get a medium, but again, for comfort, you just can't beat it. So it's these sets that come with the ribbed fabric. The nude ones, have I got one on today? Yeah, it's like this color or was this color, but as you can tell, they've gone a bit lighter. So the nude color that they did have, I liked it, but this also is nice. And the white I find shows up in top, like if you wear white underwear, it can be quite obvious still. So if you're wearing a white tee, this is more muted and subtle. So anyway, I've got a couple of these that I recently got rid of because I've had them for years and they just, they needed to go. So I thought I would stock up on three new sets and these were five pounds. They used to be five pounds, but they've gone up to, I think they've gone up to six. There's no prices on these, but yeah, I think I remember her scanning them through at six pounds each, but they are lovely. And then I also got this set because I just thought it was so cute. I have this set in just a plain white. They've got loads of different colors of these. These are seven pounds. Again, sized up to a medium, but they are so comfy, so cute. Again, something that you could just maybe sleep in. This little top, it's because it comes a bit longer. Just so, so pretty this. I don't know why I was drawn to this one, but it's like a kind of cornflower blue with these tiny little flowers on. Moving on to a couple of clothing bits now. And I got a firstly these jeans, which were in the sale from 15 pounds down to just seven. I'm hoping they fit. I feel like actually, instead of showing you these, let's actually try on the clothing bits I've got and talk you through the fit of them because I haven't tried them on yet, so I can't tell you what they're gonna be like. So let's get trying on. Okay, here we go for the jeans. I think they fit really nice. They are a 12 and they're a little bit big around the waist, but I do feel like if I belt them and also if I just want comfier jeans, then it's fine to just have that little bit of give. I mean, seven pounds as well. I'm really happy with these. And because they are more of like a creamy tone, um, I just find them a little bit softer than like a stark white jean. Also this t-shirt that I've got with it is, I've got a couple of these that I picked up for about nine pound in the sale at Abercrombie. They're from the men's section. I quite like to shop the men's section at Abercrombie, but even just their tees from the women's as well. Love them. Super, super soft. And it's like a kind of nice washed, khaki green they're quite long so i wear these with leggings or whatever but you can easily just tuck it into some jeans and yeah this is the first item these pair of jeans i did also get this cardigan this was new in for like their autumn range was it part no it wasn't part of the primark edit collection but it's like a can you see on camera i'm not sure if you can it's like a dark khaki green and I got it in a medium. It was only 19 pounds and it's super like thick, but super soft. Very, very cozy, just long line cardigan that I'm thinking again for lounging around the house or just throwing on if you need to run out somewhere. Movie nights in the garden, when we've got the screen out, it'd be quite nice just to have as an extra layer. It's kind of like cozy, cozy blanket vibes with big pockets for all your snacks. Yeah, I'm really happy with that one actually. 19 pounds I think is great value for money for that. And then what else did I get? We also got one of, um, I guess I've just got these clothes on. I'll show you this one as well. Um, a kind of, this one obviously is a bit more of like a jacket style uh, overcoat, but it's still quite thin. It's in a medium. This one, look at the price difference between that last one and this one. £36, this one. Um, but yeah, let's try it on. I guess because it's more of a, like I said, like a jacket rather than a cardigan. It's got a bit more structure to it. But it is quite thin, this one. So again, a good transitional type coat. It's definitely not a winter coat by any means. It is 
something that would be good for this time of the year. I never reach for anything like this. I end up just throwing on like a, a hoodie over the top, but actually, yeah, I'm gonna try my best to wear, like make a bit more of an effort like this, because although this is comfy, I just think it looks far nicer than just throwing on like a hoodie, a hoodie for warmth. I did actually get a couple of things, not repurchases, but something that I have already from last year in two other colors I got it. I'll show you them. So they have these in quite a few different colors, these thick knit jumpers. I got them in a medium, 17 pounds each. They do contain wool, so they can be a they're not really scratchy to be honest with you but like I said I'm quite fussy with stuff like that and I wore this one so much last year where is it it's this one I, no it's not that one this here it is yeah oh I got it in a small last year oh, I just love it so much so see the shape of it and everything it's just a really nice jumper that you can layer up with like a t-shirt on underneath Especially if you do get sensitive skin, but it's it's honestly it's not scratchy. I scratchy scratchy is a no go for me. But let's just see how this this medium fits because I'm a bit concerned now that I had a small last year. Glad I didn't get a large. I was thinking about getting a large, but yeah, see they are quite oversized already. So I would say you don't need to size up. Although I do think a medium is fine. I like that kind of oversized could roll up the sleeves, I could wear it with leggings because my bum is slightly covered because it's slightly longer at the back. I just think the fit of these is so lovely. I'm so glad I got this. So this is the gray one anyway. This color, again, that I had from last year, they have in stores as well. It's more of like a warmer brown. Oh, just got my spice latte, leaves on the floor, dog walk, cozy dog walk, sunny, but cold. Oh, I can't wait a bit warm isn't it <laughs> a bit warm for these just yet and then i'll try on the blue one as well again a little bit different for me going with this uh blue color but i do like it and i think it's since having my colors done this is definitely within my sort of color palette so this kind of baby blue yeah it's cute right <laughs> Do you think this colour suits me? Oh, it is nice, isn't it? Just like nice baby blue. I need to just try and hide my t-shirt. Um, it's actually quite nice with cream jeans as well. But I think even with blue jeans, for like, um, this kind of like baby blue jeans would be nice. Although the cream does make it a little bit different, but yeah. I love this and definitely keeping Oh, both of those as well as my jumper from last year because I know I'm going to get the wear out of them. Um, one more basic that I wanted to try on. Let me just switch out from one neutral t-shirt to another. Yeah, I love the tone of this again just because it's not like a stark white or a cream. It's kind of more like a stone. So it's quite cool toned, which again for my kind of colouring, which on the charts, if ever you've had your colours done, I am a summer palette. So more cool tones should be more leaning towards silver jewellery, these kind of cool toned blues and greys. And like if I went, want to wear a beige, more of a cool toned beige rather than a warm kind of peachy beige it just suits my skin tone a bit better. So yeah, this is another little basic. This was £10, but I do think... With Primark, if you invest a little bit more into the higher end basics that they do, like the Primark edit range, or even just like this one, sometimes the menswear. I mean, you can tell it's kind of a men's fit with the boxier, longer sleeves, but I like that. You know, not every, I've got quite a lot of baby tees and more fitted tees from Abercrombie. So it's nice to have a more oversized one that I can, again, just throw on with leggings, walk the dog in, and I just, they look nicer. So yeah, definitely check out the men's section. I even said that in the vlog actually with my previous video when I went into the stores, I showed you some of the men's wear. Don't underestimate it if you do like the kind of boxy basics. But anyway, that is everything that I picked up. Let me know of all of these items, which is your favorite. If you're gonna keep your eyes peeled for anything yourself. 
and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.